Mark, the last away game of the season, Halifax away. What's your thoughts ahead of that game? Yeah, it's going to be a, a really tough game for us. Um, but we've got, we've got to keep using these, these uh, good teams, these great teams. Halifax have done so well staying the course with the so-called big boys. You know, I'm a, I'm a real big admirer of their, their manager and the, the job that he's doing down there. But we've got to keep using these challenges to, to bring out the best in us and continue to t test ourselves. We're in, a, we're in good form at the moment. And uh, like I said, we're, we're excited by the challenge and uh, it's a game we're very much looking forward to. Of course, the last two games will take positive from them, obviously defeating Notts County 3-1 and then coming back to draw with Maidenhead. So two positives and different reasons in those two games. Yeah, I think before the weekend we were all taking those those four points um, to secure our safety. So now we can look look up, upwards um, and, and, and really try and enjoy these last two games. But to enjoy those last two games, we've still got to put out a good, a good performance and... Uh, and, and one of befitting of, of, of how hard we've worked this, this season. You know, like I said, there's, there's been plenty of ups and downs and trials and tribulations. But one thing I'll always be proud of this group is uh, at times when they were written off, um, you know, they, they didn't fold. They come back out fighting when, when, when we looked like we were dead and buried. So um, the character that they've developed, um, the bonds that we've grown together, um, you know, should stand us in good stead going forward. But... You've got to you've got to stay focused all the time. There's no there's no there's no downtime in football. It's you're either fully in or you're or you're out. So, and that doesn't matter what game it is, what stage of the season it is. It's um, you know all in, all in or not at all. And especially in our environment. And um, you know I think I think the lads are, are are proud of their achievement to stay up. A lot of people say, well you know should we be celebrating staying up? Um, but taking all into account of the season, y yes we should. And that that team has grown together so um, it's important that they carry on the good work and don't let themselves down or we let ourselves down at the in these last two games. How important has this lesson sort of been this season obviously fighting relegation securing it with three or four games to go how important will that be going into next season? Yeah it looked vitally important you know the, the remit was to stay up we've done that now it's about uh, building building the club building the future um, we, you know we've got we've got an exciting future we've got a lot of young players who've had good good minutes and good experiences and uh, we've learned a lot of lessons along the way I know the club's growing off the pitch behind the scenes all the time and um, like I said it, it can be a, a real exciting summer for us um, plenty of work to do the hard work never stops um, but it, it's certainly what a, a summer we're looking really looking forward to now and uh, we can afford that luxury now of taking a deep breath and looking to the future. But what we won't be doing is taking our eye off, off, off the game on Saturday, that is for sure. With that in mind as well, does that also see other players maybe, i say, fight for a contract for next season possibly as well? Look, there's always something to play for in football. And uh, we've got to do what's best for our football club. Uh, we've got to make sure that we, um, we're, we're fully clear on how we want to go forward. And um, you know, decisions are still to be made. And like I said, there's always everything to play for in football. Just a quick note, how do you reflect on your first season as Oldershot Town Manager? You know what, I haven't even allowed that, that, that fault. It's just always been, and the way we work is what next? How do we be better? You know, how do we prepare? Um, and that, that's, that's always been the case now, is like, how do we prepare for Halifax? Um, so I haven't allowed myself the time to reflect too much. Um, you know, we only reflect on the game and on, and on training and, and on ourselves how to be better. But what I can say is that, there was some dark times, um, but there, there's times that we've come through and we've come through it stronger. So um, I'm always a big believer that, you know, your experiences stand you in good stead. And I, and I like to think we can hopefully utilise all the experience that we've had going forward. Obviously, with the game on Monday and the game last Saturday as well, how have preparations maybe altered slightly to prepare for this game? Yeah, we obviously, it was a mammoth effort last, last weekend. Um, you know, was, was, we've picked up quite a few knocks and injuries and different bits and pieces. So... Uh, We've, we've, we've allowed the day, uh, the lads a little bit of, of rest, and rightly so, they deserved it. Um, but it's been um, you know, two tough training sessions now, ready in preparation for, for the game Saturday, and we'll, we'll always put our best foot forward. Of course, Halifax, as well, as you mentioned, one of the fighting for promotion side, so it'll be a big test, but one that we'll be opening to get a result from. Yeah, for sure. You know, we always prepare to win, win every game the best way we can, and like, like I said, it's, we've got to use the challenge about against... About, playing against the best teams in this league, Halifax certainly being one. Um, we've, got to, we've got to use that challenge to bring out the best in us and we want to keep testing ourselves and we want to keep building on this positive momentum we've got at the moment. You know, the lads are confident. Um, it, you know, there's been plenty of opportunity for people this season, lots of minutes for lots of different players and I think that will continue to be the, be the case. 
and um, it's, it's, it's what we do with these last two games. It's always nice to finish on a, on a high and, 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 like I said, keep that positive feeling going. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.